Hello, patrons, and welcome back to Chrono Trigger. We are climbing a mountain, trying to find Tata and get the... What were we looking for? <laughs> Some sort of sword. You got a speed tab. Yeah, we're looking for that uh, Masamune sword. Okay, speed tab, get to Chrono. Because why not? I think in most playthroughs I just give everything to Chrono, but now I'm I'm trying to think more sort of critically. Oh, I got that shelter that I used. It's still just one of the best battle themes ever. Actually all the battle themes in this game are just like, super pumping. This, the boss battle. Super boss battle. I think there's, like, even a higher boss battle before you eventually get to, like, the end boss themes. I'll say, how are the techs doing? Let's, uh, let's check in on the squadron here. Okay, it is imminent at this point. I should definitely be trying to get into all the fights I can. Ouch. Rudo. Okay. Fire whirl. Ice on the ninja. That should take care of that boy's hammer. And the ninja. And then we'll take down this freelancer, and then I just need to put fire on that hammer. Just talking to myself out loud here. Strategizing. Okay, so I can freely attack that guy. And then all bets are off. All bats are off. It's not really a bat, it's a hammer, but... Listen. <laughs> I'm doing what I can. Okay. Eight tech points, that's really good. Getting down to it now, just like maybe three, four more fights. This might be the end of the road though. Yeah, this is this is the end. I need to go back and fight some bad guys. Get back here, you. Mm, got a whole bunch of them stacked up over there. Fire whirl. Sweet. Use ice on you. Just maximum damage. So I think if I just keep popping in and out of that cave, I should be able to reinitiate the fight. Because it doesn't look like I can go back up the ladder from here. Maybe I can jump all the way down the waterfall to get back to the start. Wow, that one gives me 10 tech points. Oh hey, we learned all our stuff. Fire sword, ice sword. Never mind then. Let's see what's next on the tech tree. Lightning 2. Ooh, that's a long way away. Haste. Protect. I never really had a desire to use haste and protect uh, back in the day when I played Chrono Trigger. Now it seems like such a no-brainer. I mean, every game you use haste and protect. It's just what you do. It's all those MMOs I play. <clears throat> Squeaky chair. I'm the wind. Whoosh. All right. Stop. Are you here for the Masamune? I am. I didn't cure up. Now I'm kind of nervous. Thought so. Wait a second, okay? Oh, big brother. Where are you, Masa? What is it, Mune? Not again. So, you want to get a name for yourself by grabbing the Masamune? What a buffoon. Humans are so silly. 
It's how you use the sword that's important, not who owns it. You can't even understand something as simple as that. That's why you're human. What should we do? The usual, test them. You can entertain us for a while. All right, here we go. Whoosh. Ooh. Imp friends. Okay, I remember this one being a bit of a difficult brawl. Let's see how we do. So they counterattack, it seems like. Let's do a fire sword. And then... I don't know if I'll be able to provoke these guys. Oh, wow, okay. That's pretty cool. So they're susceptible to confusion, huh? I'm just gonna try to take down one of them at a time. Oh, sweet. Okay. But then things get more difficult, as they always do. Hey, they're pretty tough. Only Cyrus made it this far. What should we do? This time it's for real. All right, this is it. Yeah, we mean business. With Masa's bravery and Mune's knowledge, two become one. He's a big un. Masa Mune. Let's see if I can confuse him. Oh, Chrono needs to be cured. Like, quickly. Tippity, spin cut. And then maybe I'll do a napalm or a whirl. Chrono's gonna need MP soon, too. Mid ether on Chrono. Indeed. Whoa. Okay, well, that's not the best. So, revive. She's not gonna have a lot of HP, though. Okay, tonic on you. Tippity. Because I need to keep up that offensive, like, even if I'm curing myself. If I don't keep up the offensive, the fight will never end. Ouch. Okay, mid-tonic on Luca. I've got lots of mid-tonics, I don't mind using them all. Mid-tonic on Chrono. What if I don't attack during this phase? Still does tons of damage. So be it. So I guess I can just attack with Reckless Abandon during that. Let's do an Ice Sword, see how much that hurts him. And I'll do a Napalm. His graphics and sound effects are so satisfying. Okay, fire sword. And mid tonic on Marl, because she's the lowest HP right now. Hopefully she pops it off. Yeah, good. Before the tornado. And Luca. 
I'll do a napalm and then I'm gonna do an aura world to recover us from this one. I think her napalm combined with maybe a robo technique gives her powerful something or other. Good double tech. Okay, she needs that. And then I can do an ice sword while we wait. Colonel might need an ether again soon. Oh, look at that. We did it. That's Masamune. The soul of the sword. I always liked that it's two beings. It's, it's all about a harmony. And the balance. And also it's interesting that they choose to stay as children forms. They beat us, big brother. That was fun. Will they fix us? Will they find us an owner? Yeah, it'll be alright. So this is the Masa Moon. But it looks like it's been broken for ages. So now we just have a broken sword. Allow me, we'll ride the wind to the base of the mountain. Good luck to you. I like how readily they trust them after fighting. <laughs> They're just like, alright, here we go. Cause I'm sure they know that, you know, Masa and Mune didn't mean them any harm. Okay, quick shelterino. Let's get that sword to the hero. By which I of course mean... Data. I I'm sorry everyone, some frog guy dropped this in a cafe. I thought I'd sell it, but then everyone started calling me a hero. I couldn't bear to get rid of it. Uh-oh. I just can't fake it any longer. I'm no hero. I'm so ashamed. Here, please take this. Scoundrel! I knew this was all a sham. Listen to you. Who was going around telling everyone that you raised a hero, huh? How could I have fallen for that? For my dear departed wife's sake, I vow to keep my feet on the ground. Okay, let's go back to the true hero. My boy. F to the R to the OG. Hey. What's that guy doing there? Call me a dog. The other turned. The, the hero medal. Aye, thou hast seen the lad. Yet there's nary a thing I canst do against Magus. The legendary Masamune is required to fight Magus, and I have no right to wield it. Please leave now. Broken sword. It's part of the Masamune. It's engraved with archaic letters. I think I can read it. Mm. Melchior. Melchior, the guy in Medita Village? What does this mean, Chrono? What indeed? Feels like we're gonna go forge a sword. After we do this fight, apparently. It's a shame that all the area of effect attacks are so small in this game. Like, you'd think that that would hit both of those froggies, but... Alas. I 
I like that these tadpoles are just called the poles. I guess they're not really tadpoles, they're like fully grown froggies. Is a tadpole the middle? Like the teen of frogs? It's like... Oh boy. I can't even venture a guess because I know I'd be 100% wrong. But I want to say it's Pollywog. But whenever I have that line of thinking, I'm always like, oh, am I thinking about the Pokemon or the actual animal? <laughs> oh, brother. Okay. So, let's make our way back to the time portal. we had a faster way. Maybe someday in the future we will. Wink wink. But for now we just gotta hoof it back to all those portals. I kind of like it when they make you do that in games. But not to the point where it gets like really obnoxious and annoying. Just like just enough to make you really appreciate it when you get a shortcut later on. The fast travel of the age. Okay, so I wanna go to, nope. Oh right, it's just the middle one. No, it's the future. That's the stuff. Totally punched my desk trying to reach the uh, controller. Okay. The imps are completely unfazed now by me jumping out of their closet. Just like, oh man. It's just the way it is. Back again. Come to see my collection? The sword. It's the Masamune. How did you. Why would your name be engraved on the sword? It's a long story. You do want to hear this story, right? Of course! Tell us about the Masamune. Is it possible to reforge it? Hmm. It might be possible if we could get our hands on some Dreamstone, which the sword is made of. Dreamstone? Where can we get that? You can't find it anymore. It was a red stone that was once used as money. Unfortunately, it hasn't been available for a very long time. Hmm. Any more scoops? I doubt that you'll ever find the redstone, but if you bring some to me, I will fix the Masamune. Keep the sword with you until then. So now we're on the hunt for some redstone. Hmm. Don't mind us. Enjoy your cake. I could go over some cake. Hmm. Perhaps that is why we have a gate to 65 million years BC. If it hasn't been available in a very long time. So let's dang old find out. Next time, I'll see you there. The Rare Red Rock.